Yay! Welcome back! More F F Ace Phoenix Red Attorney Trilogy. Hi! <laughs> um, in case you guys didn't see, I've been uploading, I've been finally uploading a gameplay to the gaming channel again, so sorry. I've been kind of neglecting her. Um, but yeah, I'm remembering. Hi, <laughs> YouTube! Hi, YouTube! Hello, YouTube! Uh, we're currently working on a case where a co star has been charged with, or not charged, but like arrested on suspicion of murdering um, one of his co stars. So, we're trying to prove that he's innocent. Do I know if he's actually innocent? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but we'll find out. I don't even think we're at the trial part yet. I think we're still, I think we're still trying to gather evidence. So we'll see. <laughs> Artemis Prime said boob tube, and this is where we left off. <laughs> can't. Mia needs to die. Mia needs to be dead. She needs to stay dead. I'm sorry, pick one. You're either living or you're dead. You gotta pick a lane. <sighs> so what's the best thing to do from here? We need to get to the studio and talk to that boy. Oh yeah, the boy who said he saw everything. We gotta gore. Studio. Oh, this lady. <sighs> Me doing my hike yesterday. <sighs> What's wrong? <sighs> Whippersnapper! <laughs> She's been chasing that boy this whole time. When, when I catch him, I... Sounds like she hasn't had any luck catching him. <laughs> I got a hostage now, my first snap for a hostage. What? What do you mean a hostage? What's this about a hostage? <sighs> when that boy was running away, he dropped this and ran. He'll come back for this one. It's kind of hard to understand her with all that huffing and puffing. <laughs> Phoenix, that hostage might be what we need. Cody might talk to us if we gave him that. Oh. Can make a trade. Oh, no. I'm catching that brat if it's the last thing I do. Phoenix, do you have anything you might trade with her? Trade? I wonder. Uh... What would she want? I don't know, probably not yet. Actually, I met with the director just now. Eh? My heart, I don't feel so good. Is she okay? Before I go, I'd like to visit the place where poor Hammer died. Right, she was saying she wanted to visit the studio where he died. Can I change it so that, um, text skip? I wanted to see if there's a way to just make the text load all at once, but I don't see one. Oh, that's transparency. Maybe there isn't one. Okay, whatever. What happened to the boy? If I see him again, I'll lay him flat. <laughs> My, what a violent old lady. <laughs> um. Well, I know she's like obsessed with Hammer, the guy who died. You can just press the skip button once. Oh, which one's the skip button? BS, what is it with, what's on? I don't know what it is on, maybe it's like A or something on controller. Oh, B, okay, I'll try that next time, thank you. I just want the text to load like immediately, like right away instead of having it like drag across the screen or whatever. Uh. Ah! He's here! Hey, you, wait a second. Phoenix, was that the boy? Yeah, his name's Cody Hackins. I think he ran into the dressing room, but I don't have the thing to trade with him, so. What could I trade with her? Um, 
She's like in love with, with um, Hammer. So I was like, maybe something from here. Still inside the evil magistrate costume. Okay. <laughs> no, just just our twice, huh? <laughs> what? Is there anyone in here? <gasps> They're gone. Ooh. Maybe I could just try presenting her some stuff and see if she takes one. Oh, the director? <clears throat> no, thank you. I'll just present her some stuff. Um, what about the trailer key? I stole your trailer key. Miss Old Bag, I'm borrowing this just so you know. Oh, okay, oh. She's not as demanding when she's exhausted. Okay, never mind. Um, card key? Hey, that, that's a card. Studio One? Right, a card key to Studio One. I, I could visit poor, oh, yes! <laughs> I could visit poor Hammer. I'd like to visit. He died. <sighs> I was his his fan. You don't have your own card, Miss Old Bag? Studio One isn't my turf. <sighs> You'll let me borrow borrow it then? If I give her the card key, then I won't be able to get into Studio One. <gasps> uh, I think I saw everything I need to see in there because the employee section is where I need to go. So I'm gonna lend it to her. Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess it can't hurt. Here you go, Miss Old Bag. Well, can she give me the thing that, can she give me the hostage then? Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like having debts to no whippersnappers. Yeah! Yay! You take this, we're even. What's this, a steel samurai trading card? That sneaky kid dropped it. Yes! I figure it's pretty important to him though. Thank you, I may have to use for, I uh, may have a use for this. This must be the hostage she was talking about. Yes. A trading card. Apparently these are really popular with kids these days. Right, I'm off. Okay, bye. Now we can go talk to the kid. Hee hee hee. He's sure to be in here somewhere. Oh God, <laughs> found you. <laughs> Where's he going? Damn it, he's getting away. Come back. There, he's back. How did she? Hey there, would you mind helping us out, please? Uh, I'm Cody. Hello, Cody, I'm Mia, Mia Faye. Nice to meet you. Yo, and I'm Phoenix Wright. Who asked? <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. Phoenix, you can take it from here. I'm not so sure I'm qualified. Can I talk to him? He's still Samurai. Steel Samurai is so cool. I think he's um, the bomb. <laughs> what would a lamer like you know about the Steel Samurai? Hey, watch that attitude. Phoenix, you really shouldn't yell like that. He's only a kid. Yeah, don't yell like that. I'm only a kid. Yo, <laughs> we in Law and Order today. <laughs> Hi, Amanda. Uh, so do you know anything about what happened here? Could you tell me, please? I don't know nothing. Hmm. Looks like a little persuasion's necessary. Maybe a bribe? I have your card. Cody, this look familiar? Hey, my, what? My you are? You are, huh? You are, you know, ultra rare. That card's really hard to get. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. <laughs> I mean, if he was talking straight to me, he'd be correct. Yes. I'll give you this if you help me. 
But that's my card! By offering me something I already own, you're in effect es eschewing the very basis of our consumer society, namely the principle of fair trade. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. What do they teach kids these days in school? Quantum physics? Whatever, I don't need that card. Huh? I got a double. Just keep it. It's yours. What? After I went through all that trouble? If you want to trade, find me a really rare card. Really rare? You mean there's something rarer than ultra rare? Ultra rare premium cards are way rarer than plain ultra rare cards. Come on! Man, for a grown-up, you sure are How many times are you going to say this? His catchphrase? Premium rare. Why do I feel like we're talking about stakes? Okay, well, I don't have a premium rare card. Can I give him some evidence? <laughs> what about this? The evidence. You can have this. Hey, it's a steel samurai. Huh? Why is he dragging his foot like that? Where'd you get this anyway? Okay, well, never mind. Um... Where am I gonna find a new card? That's the kid who threw all this stuff off the shelves at GameStop. It sure is. This is this is exactly him. Sorry, I'm stirring my tea. Where'd the card? I put like a boatload of honey in there so my throat doesn't get irritated. Stir the tea, sis. Oh, I will. Where am I gonna find a rare one? Mm. I bet there'd be one at the studio since they film it here. They probably would have some, right? Or maybe, maybe um, Will Powers has one. I guess Mr. Powers isn't questioning. Oh, oh well. Let's try again another day. Okay, never mind. So this is the only place I can go? Mm. There's a clock and a speaker in the monkey's head. It would usually tell the time by ooking. Clock has stopped at 2.15 now. Ooking. <laughs> really wanna take a break, but we have work to do. Okay. Never mind. Ook. <laughs> Guys, the monkey ooked three times. How do we know what time it is? Welcome. I wonder if the murderer will make this place famous too. Where am I gonna find this card? Uh, oh, you're so sleepy. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. Uh, <gasps> a new development. Oh, Penny! Hello, what brings you here? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. Um, yes? The, um, girl with you, doesn't she seem a little different? Like, is she even the same person as before? Nope, she's the same as always. <laughs> um, that girl with you, um, why are her breasts out of her shirt? <laughs> Why are her breasts out? Same as always. Okay, whatever you say. Have you seen that boy since then? No. You missed it though. The security lady was chasing around after the boy so fast I thought she'd collapse. Of course he got away in the end. Boy, was she mad. Actually, we saw them. How's the old windbag doing? <laughs> she was squeezing donuts through her clenched fist back at the guard station. Some people take their jobs a little too seriously. Are all the posters on the wall here of Hammer? Yes, it's really a terrible loss for the studios. But his popularity had been waning recently, right? That's true. Then again, after what happened... After what happened? You mean you don't know about Hammer? No, what? Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. What hap... Are you talking about him dying? Because that's what I'm... That's what I'm trying to... Okay. Wait, now you have to tell me. What happened with Hammer? I'm sorry. I'm probably not the one who should tell you. Uh-oh. Why do I get the feeling something's being covered up here? What the fuck? 
Can I show her something? Do you know anything about this? Hey, that's a Steel Samurai trading card. I collect those actually. <gasps> yes! We're in! I'm one card away from a complete set. A complete set? Yeah, a set of one of each card. Huh. Wait, 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 wait. That's it! That's the card I need! You don't know how long I've been looking for it. Uh, I don't care what kind of girl you might think I am, I need that card. <laughs> I beg you, please trade with me. <laughs> trade with you? Yes, trade cards. Look, I'll even trade you an ultra rare premium card. Trade me a hole? Yes, it's a good deal for your ultra rare. Please. Phoenix, can't you see she's desperate? What's everyone getting so excited about? Oh yeah, we're trading. Yes. Okay. Really? Thanks. Then this is for you. Erp card. <laughs> it's in your card. Yahoo! And there she goes. Doesn't doing good things like that make you feel great? Yeah, yeah it does. Except I did it for my own personal gain. <laughs> okay, is it a point? I'm sorry for yawning. I'm sorry. I got your erp. See this card? Yeah, so, wait, that's it. That's the last ultra rare premium card I need. Come on, give it to me, please. You gotta give it to me. Oh, I've never seen him so eager. Right, okay, how about a trade? You're on. I'll give you a samurai spirit and throw in an evil magistrate to boot. No, 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 not that kind of trade. I don't want cards. I want information. <laughs> Huh, you sure? Fine by me. Erp card given to Cody. Okay, Phoenix, let's hear what he has to say. If you know something that could help us, we can have him take the stand tomorrow. You can put kids on the stand? That's scary. So you like the Steel Samurai. So cool. I, I guess. You're judging him by his looks. You have to look at his actions, at his life. I'm being lectured on life by a grade schooler. Put that kid on the stand. <laughs> you like him too, don't you? Uh, oh, me? Yeah. I um, love the Steel Samurai. So tell me what your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai. <laughs> oh no! I didn't see there were choices. I really like his, um, his kind nature. What a guy. Totally. He looks so tough, but inside he's as gentle as a kitten. Yeah. <laughs> so what else do you like about him? Ah, don't tell me I have to keep this act up. Oh my god. Uh, his fighting skills. I like it when he uh, he vanquishes his foes. Yeah, Wizam! The Steel Samurai always wins, always. Check this out, it's my fan album. Samurai scrapbook. Hi, Ava. What the? It's all the pictures of the Steel Samurai. I go to every live performance. Stupid publicity stunts where they beat each other up in public. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands in the final blow. Wizam! I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Check it out. My new digital camera. Wow, it's very impressive. <laughs> He's a bit of a dork, but I kind of like him now. <laughs> the newest model, isn't it? You bet, lady. I just got it for my birthday. My album has a name. Want to hear it? The Steel Samurai. Path to glory. The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. If you want this, you can have it, lady. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I took these with the digital camera. I got all the data at home so I can always make another one. Well then, I'm happy to accept. Thank you. <gasps> Contains photos of every victory scene in every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I'm gonna need this. What's with people always giving stuff to Mia? What a life. Okay, what happened? You were here on the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Cody. Cody, he needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Isn't that the Steel Samurai's motto for great justice? You have to help us fight for great justice too. A Nikon Coolpix? 
<laughs> a disposable Kodak from Rite Aid. I, I saw, I saw everything. Well, well, we might get some useful information out of him yet. What did you saw? Cody, I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? I got here that day around two. I had to come in through the woods out back so that old lady wouldn't see me. I got kind of lost though. I was in there for maybe half an hour or so. Then I finally got to the studio. After that, what is it, Cody? The, the steel samurai killed the bad guy. But he's got like a mask on and stuff. There's no way you could tell it's him. He used a samurai spear, just like always. One shot, one kill. It happened so fast, I got scared. I went home after that. I see, it must have been hard for you. Man, you say those nice things, but it's so obvious you aren't speaking from the heart. Um, right, Mia? Yes? I think we can say for sure this means the steel samurai did it. True enough. And the director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Indeed. So the only person left who it could have been is Will Powers. <sighs> couldn't it have been like, couldn't it have been Penny? It could have been Penny, right? Cause she was there. I have to admit it's kind of a shock, but if you put this boy on the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Let's not call him then. <laughs> I think that would be wise. Best to leave this one alone. Not so fast, pal. <gasps> oh, for fuck's sakes. I heard everything. No! <laughs> He's such a dork. This boy here is a key witness. <sighs> Great. And he's under police protection starting now. Come on, son. <laughs> I'm your daddy now. You've got a rendezvous with me down at the precinct. No, I ain't going. <laughs> that didn't go so well. We're back to zero leads. And now we have a serious handicap in court. What are we gonna do, Mia? Well, hmm, I really need to be going. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Come to the trial tomorrow, please. I need you there. Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? Yes. Of course he is. That's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court then. But they said Maya's too weak to have her, like, take over her body this many times. So how is she still doing it? Great. Thanks, Mia. See you soon. Also, I hate this whole boob thing. <laughs> I hate it. It's so weird because Maya's 17 and when Mia takes over her body, her boobs are out. It just makes me feel so weird. I don't like it. Like, I don't see the point of having the boobs out all the time. I just want to see Phoenix's boobs. <laughs> Ugh. It's a matter of how long she can sustain the channel. Exactly, because the last time that my the last time that Mia took over Maya's body, she could only do it for like like ten minutes or fifteen minutes or something because she did it in court. But she's been like, this, well, I guess I don't know what the time. I don't know how the time passes in Phoenix, right? Whatever, it's fine. She's just been in there a while. October nineteenth, nine forty two a.m. Oh, uh, well, it's not looking good for you, buddy. Um, Mr. Wright? Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? <laughs> oh, oh, nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Uh-oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix, your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. This is no time for dead people jokes, please. <laughs> You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something Phoenix today. It's that or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. Phoenix and Edgeworth kiss. <laughs> Phoenix.
Phoenix and Edgeworth kiss their little mouths together. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has, fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if it'll be that producer. The prosecution calls Mr. Salmonell. Oh. Or the director, not this guy. Uh, I do not like this guy. Will the witness state his name and profession? How rude can you get? You don't know me? I'm the director. I make the steel samurai noob ruffle. I just want you to know, saying this out loud hurts my soul. I am choking out the words as I speak them. Salmonella, I'm a director of television. <laughs> Were you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Yes, Your Honor. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix, let's start by picking this testimony apart. <laughs> if Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. Right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. Okay. I was at the studios from around nine that morning. During the morning, I was doing um, an action scene run through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area, but I had a meeting in the Studio Two trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around four. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Hmm. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., and according to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. <sighs> this happened before the head fell. scene of the crime between 2.15 and 4 p.m. I think I can only press him. I was doing um, an action scene run through. In the employee area? That's right. It was a fight scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. Was anyone else at the run through? Oh yeah, that security lady was sitting there watching the whole thing. Lol. She was cheering on Hammer, if you can believe it. She certainly has the lungs for it. Anyone else? Nope, just us four. What? Penny was there. Took a lot more time than I thought it would. I heard that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area, but I had a meeting in the studio two trailers, so I ended up skipping lunch. So in the end, you didn't get to eat. Yeah, no steak at least. Can you believe it? That must have been tough. <laughs> Phoenix, yeah? Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? Didn't we find steak? We found steak in at Studio 2. We found empty plates. Yes. Yeah, it does seem odd now that you mention it. Mr. Manella. Hmm? What do you want? When I went to Studio 2, I, I saw something on the table there. <gasps> there were two plates, the same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. <laughs> I remember. Who ate lunch there? Mm -hmm. No, er, uh, um, <laughs> good call. I, uh, I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat after all. Oh, the face. A T-bone steak, you mean. Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. What trouble? I brought it to the trailer, thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat, I'd suspect as much. 
Who doesn't like eating? <laughs> well, maybe I shouldn't ask that. It's a little insensitive. But like, eating, everyone loves eating. Okay, no, not everyone loves eating. Ah, never mind. <laughs> We're gonna stop talking. Same, same, but different. Huh? What are you saying, Zen? <laughs> I know, dude. This is very, like, early 2000s. Uh, when exactly did you eat? We took one break during the meeting. I'm sorry. You took a break during the meeting? The meeting where you said no one left their seats? I wolfed it down then. A mental image I will carry with me to my grave. Wait a second. If they took a break in the meeting, that contradicts his testimony. I'll press on that one a bit more. We're in the meeting room until around four. We're in the meeting while well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chair. I mean, you're wrong. You didn't take a single break. Uh, well, yeah, not a one. What's he sweating so much about, I wonder? If only I had an idea. Wait a second. <laughs> Maybe I do. Wait a second. Mr. Manella, you've just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate that team bone steak during a break? Oops, Raffle. <laughs> oh my god. Well, um, Mr. Manella, what's this all about? Well, yeah, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor. I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Manella, your testimony, please. <laughs> <laughs> What's this guy laughing about? I hate him. <laughs> Uh-oh, Edgeworth is laughing. Yeah, for what it's worth, we took a break. Raffle. <laughs> Oh, I have to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. But it was only 15 minutes. 15? That's only 13 in base 12. Not enough time for someone to say commit a murder in Studio One. Lol. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak, if you ask me. What time was it, though? Hmm. I don't think it would even be enough time for that, but that's just me. I do. I think it's enough time. I need to know what time they took it though. Took a break, but it was only 15 minutes. What were you doing for those 15 minutes? Eating my T-bone steak, what else? There were two plates on the table. Oh right, the other one was Diva's. Sorry, D. Vasquez plate. D. Vasquez, the producer. T to T one steak in 15 minutes. That's quite a feat. I don't have time for someone to say commit a murder. But what time? What time did you guys stop eating food? Why is that? That's only just enough time to eat a T bone steak if you ask me. guy who gets through his meals pretty fast. Well, I was facing a cold, slightly chewy T-bone steak. Even I have to take my time eating that kind of food. Well, Phoenix, that testimony was too short to wring any kind of useful information out of. All you have to do is prove that he was able to go to Studio One at that time. Oh, great. Is that all? when he took it yes drag him no I don't like the way he's dragging him it's just mean we should drag him for being sexist and creepy towards women <laughs> not for his body um should I show the guide map evidence clearly reveals the contradiction in that statement, Your Honor. Oh, I don't, no, it didn't, it didn't work. 
How exactly are that are that evidence and the statement just not related? They aren't, are they? I should probably save. I don't know how to think about facts. I don't think that won me any points with the judge. Um, let me save really quick in case I just keep saying the wrong thing over and over again. Um What would I use to prove that you can get there in 15 minutes? Maybe the timestamp photo? This isn't, isn't gonna work either. No. <laughs> okay, shit. Ah, this is hard! He didn't say what time they went, it was kinda hard. <laughs> this is just wrong. <laughs> this is just wrong. Okay, hold on. Let me reload. What could I possibly... Uh, I think I did everything with the time except for his death. And this stuff isn't related. I pressed that. I pressed that. I didn't press this one. What time exactly? Oh, this is what I wanted to know. What time exactly did you take this break? Hmm. I'd say it was from around 2.30 or so until 2.45. thirty. That's when he died. That's the time of death, literally. So he could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back. I guess it's possible time-wise. But it was only 15 minutes. Uh, I think I kind of got everything out of him, didn't I? Or do I have to present... The Phoenix, that testimony was too short. Oh. Um, I think I have to present the... Time... The time of death? What? Which one am I supposed to present it on? Maybe the first one? Dude! This is so annoying! Okay. Ugh. Hold on, I'm gonna go back. I didn't save, so I have to do that pressing part again. like I feel like I know what to present but I have to present it on like the right thing oh wait let me save sorry <laughs> oh my god <laughs> which sentence do I have to present this on? I tried that one. I can try this one. Oh my god, I hate being alive. <laughs> okay, so presenting that, presenting the, the autopsy didn't work for anything. So that's cool. Um... Block the path to the scene of the crime between 2.15 and 4 p.m. So if they took the break at 
that no one could have gotten over there. I don't know. I did the clock, that didn't work. I guess I could try presenting the clock at a, on another sentence. Not enough time for someone to say commit a murder in Studio One. That's only just enough time to eat a tea bone steak if you ask me. What about here? Not enough time for someone to say commit a murder. This is so annoying. <laughs> this is so annoying. I don't understand, cause like I know what I wanna say, but I, you need to say the right thing on the right line of their testimony and I fucking, oh my God. Maybe I need to press another sentence now that I have that information. What were you doing for those 15 minutes? Eating a T-bone steak. There were two plates on the table. D Vasquez, producer. D T one take 15 minutes, quite a feat. Why is that? Oh, there we go. I needed to press. Okay. Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor, the testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. I don't know if that's true. Because they have the whole, they have the, like, broken grate or whatever. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright? Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? I claim it and I claim it out loud. <laughs> If I agree to let everyone in that trailer off the hook, then the trial is over. Mr. Powers will be found guilty for sure. The victim was murdered at 2.30, the exact time of the break in the meeting. With 15 minutes, murder is certainly a possibility. <laughs> hmm. I suppose you might say that. All right, I've got the judge thinking now. <laughs> How do you do that noise? How do you do that? <laughs> How do you do that noise? Tisk, tisk, tisk. Never a dull moment with you, Mr. Wright. What's your point, Edgeworth? You've been doing your homework, haven't you? Look at the court record. The court record? Surely you knew that from 2.15 to 4, the path between the studios was blocked. Mrs. Monkey's head had fallen across the path. Whoa, you're right! <laughs> but they can go through the forest! You have to like click your tongue on the back of your front teeth. Like that. I sound like a, I sound like a, like a mouse. Oh yeah. You're gonna hear me do that every stream for the next like two months. Oh chat. I think saying tisk is funner. More fun. <laughs> it's more fun to be like tisk, tisk, tisk. True, the break room in the, tra or the break in the trailer came uh, right after the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mrs. Monkey had barred the way. <laughs> it's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point and somehow I feel no desire to correct him. No counter argument, Mr. Wright, then I'm afraid you lose this round. Oh. I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to re relieve Mr. Manella from the stand, thank God. What, it's over? I just want him to leave. <laughs> Very well, the court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio Two on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio One. They therefore have no relation to this case. 
Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the seal samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking, uh, all that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed, <gasps> we have evidence, a witness? No, they're gonna bring out the kid. They're gonna bring out the kid. I'm gonna have to cross-examine a child. Hi, sub, thank you for 75 months, how are you? Oh no. Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when the steel samurai skewered the victim. This is when I get to be like, if it was blocked off, how'd you get in there? Order, I will have order. I see. The court will take a 10 minute recess after which we will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for recess. How has it been an hour already? Dude, playing this game, the time goes by so fast. Um, I have to get up and take a stretch break. Cause it all, it all went by so fast. I love this game, dude. Even when I'm stuck, I love this game. It's so much fun. We are so back to more Phoenix Wright. <laughs> yeah, WB does not stand for welcome back. It stands for we bear a string. <laughs> we are so back. Um, so we're taking a recess and then I'm pretty sure they're bringing on the kid, which I feel like, I feel like ex cross, cross examining a child should be pretty easy. So I think it'll be fine. Um, is Mia still here? Oh, she looks mad. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. M Mia, don't tell me you're giving up. Texas, thank you so much for the 28 months. Uh, the book that was making me cry was called Under the Whispering Door. It's, um, it's written on the captions of the video if you wanna look it up. Don't get me wrong, I've never given up on a trial before, not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in that trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that, but I was wrong. What about the grate? What about the open grate? Green eggs and ale. <laughs> yeah, it brought tears to my eyes. Had me on the had me on the edge of my seat. <laughs> That's all there is. Um, what's going to happen to me? <laughs> well, son, um, they're taking you to the electric chair. It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the Steel Samurai, hero to children everywhere. After all. I, you, thanks. Okay, Phoenix, this one's for the kids. Let's do it. I love her. <laughs> when he couldn't eat them on the drive. <laughs> and when he couldn't eat them on the plane. <laughs> Casey, thank you so much for the reset. That's so sweet. Thank you for the sweet message. I appreciate it. Thank you. Edgeworth looks like a sim. He stands like he has a stick shoved so far up his ass he can feel it in his sinuses. Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a grade schooler of tender years, and this is a murder case, we worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with his cruel questioning. <laughs> nice to see Edgeworth taking the moral high ground. <laughs> he kind of does, you've seen him. <laughs> How do you know what that feels like? I said it looks like he has it. Then say, it. I know how it feels. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. Oh, <laughs> he's just a baby. Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on. Oh, right, guard, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. They're always talking about donuts in this game. It makes me so hungry for donuts. Will the witness state his name and grade in school? Witness. What? Just cause you're all grown up don't mean you can push me around. Cody, answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Hackins, I'm in second grade. Second grade? Hi, Pop Cardoni. 
I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. Meh. <laughs> Witness, or I mean, Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. You were present, uh, you were at Global Studios on the day of the incident? You got a problem with that? I love him. He's giving Edgeworth problems, so I love him. Please tell us what you saw that day. Oh, I can feel my throat a little bit. Hopefully we last through the cross-examination. What, Pops? You want me to tell you and Gramps with the beard over there? <laughs> Just Mr. Edger- Oh, I prefer bearded gentlemen. Dude, how fast do they think I can read? They move through that text so fast sometimes. Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. Mm. My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like special permission if that's possible. Wait, so you're saying you had to bargain terms with a kid and you lost? <laughs> hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet. But I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix, I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. You'd better make a note of it in the court record. Cody always carries it, though he's still learning how to use it. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw the day of the incident. This should be fun. Hi, Kayla! How you doing? Take his memory card. It's just a bunch of photos of that sword he has on his back. <laughs> the sword he's carrying around everywhere. If I had a sword and a digital camera, I would take so many photos of my sword. At like different angles, different like millimeters. Yeah. My photo would just all be sword. I wanted to see a Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods off the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way though for about 30 minutes. When I came out by the studio, there was the Steel Samurai. It totally rocked. Right before my eyes, out came the bad guy. Of course the Steel Samurai took him down. If I had my camera with me, that would have been the time for a shot, I tell you. <coughs> anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. He said he doesn't have his camera. Why didn't he have his camera? Hmm. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. But be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. <laughs> didn't he die in the studio? Yes! And he saw the whole thing. This cut is tougher than most adults we've seen here, honestly. I want to press him on saying if I had my camera, because he said he takes it with him everywhere. Just once. Found a map on the internet. This is, actually, I'm going to press this, too. Was that day the first time you'd been to the studio? Uh, actually, I've been a couple times. I never managed to get there on a rehearsal day, and that security lady's always yelling. Right, right, please continue. Chill, Pops, I'm getting to it. <laughs> I'm supposed to talk with you cutting me off all the time. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> I love him now. I went through the woods off the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. Off the path? Yeah, you know how the studios are in a valley there? If you go off the path a little, there's the woods. That's where I was. You can go through the fucking woods. I knew it. I see. Anyhow, I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way, though, for about 30 minutes. When I came out by the studio, there was the Steel Samurai. Totally rocked. Right before my eyes came out, out came the bad guy. Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down. Pow! If I had my camera with me, that would have been time for a shot, I tell you. <coughs> if you had your camera? You mean you weren't carrying your camera then? No, I wasn't. It's not like I have it all the time. But you said you did! Really? I guess seeing the killing freaked him out and he went home. Phoenix, remember, he's a child. Use gentle words, but be firm. <coughs> Easy for you to say. Oh, my throat! Um. Can I present this? The monkey's head? Photos of every victory scene in every battle still same result. Oh wait, I can present this! Cody always carries it. Yeah. 
Maybe I can present this. Oh, I'm gonna save. <laughs> I know it's right when the music stops. Cody, what you just said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Huh? Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you. <laughs> Uh-oh, was I putting the pressure on too much? What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? It's 2016! You're supposed to know this. <coughs> it's um a digital camera, Your Honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. How do I explain that? I see. Anyway, Cody, I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um... Mr. Wright, how cruel you are to terrorize a poor child so. <laughs> I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? You know what I meant. Well, Cody. What? Yeah, so I had my camera, so what? You got a problem with that? Pistol box. So you did have a camera. And did you use this camera? Why would I use it? I, I was too busy watching. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about what you were so busy watching. <laughs> God is that? <laughs> the way Chad is like cheering on me cross-examining a child. Someone who's like seven. <laughs> got his ass. Fucking got his ass. Take him to jail. Yeah, I had my camera with me, but I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off of it. The steel samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong. The steel samurai rules. But he, sh he gave me the album where he said he, f he takes a photo every single time that he fights a bad guy. So maybe I can present that. Is that all? Well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Maybe I can present the album he gave me. And be like, didn't you say you take a picture of it every time? My camera with me, but I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off of it. Sorry for all the saving. <laughs> it's just a little stressful. It's like you make two mistakes and we take your lawyer badge away. Contains photos of every victory scene in every battle the student samurai has won. Oh, it didn't work. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh my god, when I played Baldur's Gate, I saved like a thousand times. Dude, Baldur's Gate is that's a hard game to play. Um, maybe I just press. So you were watching the Steel Samurai. Did you watch the whole fight? Yeah, of course. You didn't turn away, not even once. No. Okay, then tell us exactly what happened. Yeah. I'm getting to that. Goes for the bad guy, wham. Then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong, it's still samurai rules. So why didn't you use it? He's getting to that. Relax and listen. <laughs> um, I didn't use it because I was too busy watching the real thing. That guy attacked him first? Yeah. What sort of person was this bad guy? I told you, a person. He was a person. How was he dressed? I think he would have said the magistrate, no? I kind of don't remember. I was too busy watching the Steel Samurai. I see, and what happened next? Then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong. Steel Samurai rules. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, because the Steel Samurai brought, a samurai brought him to justice. And how exactly did he do that? How did he do it? With a samurai kick and a samurai punch. Samurai chop, samurai slap, 
Something like that. <laughs> He's still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops. How should I play this? I think I need to press him harder. I kind of feel like he wasn't there. I don't know. I'm starting to feel like he wasn't there because he said he said he didn't take any photos. He's like vague about the fight. I kind of feel like he just wasn't there and just lied. Cody. What? Something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Yeah, so what? Yet you missed the most important part. <clears throat> what is the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he saw quite clearly. I love when they go back and forth with objection. <laughs> you know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap. <laughs> My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurai's fight, but you missed the most important part, the killing blow. Order, order. Mr. Wright, how could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Um, well, uh, that's the thing. <laughs> Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, <coughs> why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? You can figure this out. We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? He's watching something else. Show evidence? No, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I should have saved. Oh, I can't, no, I can't save. Yes, I can. Okay, okay, okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. I love that you can save whenever you want in this game. It's so fun. <gasps> okay. So he has, he has a photo of every victory scene in every battle of Steel Samurai's one. I bet he was trying to get his camera out to take a photo, but he doesn't know how to use it yet because he's still learning. So I think it's because he was fiddling with the camera. <coughs> Maybe, I don't know. I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, your honor. Why did Cody look away from the fight? Here's my proof. What's that, the camera? The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that too. Ah, correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> let's go! Hey! Bullseye, let's go! We are gaming, chat. <laughs> So gaming. What's your problem, Pops? You gotta think for picking on little kids. Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize there was no way he could just stand there watching his hero and not take a picture. Right. Cody, there was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight, and that was because you wanted to take a picture, but having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Yeah. <laughs> well, Phoenix, I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. <gasps> right, Mia means business. Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackens testify once more. Very well, Cody. Could you please tell us about your camera and about why you didn't take a picture of the fight? I'm having so much fun with this case, but my throat hurts so bad from reading it all out loud. I'm trying to persevere. Um, welcome to the real world kid. <laughs> He's seven. He's not living in the same world that you are. He's seven. No photo? Yeah, you're right, Pops. The Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I held up my camera to take a picture 
but the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. <coughs> That's all that happened. Yep. I'm gonna press it on that one. No photo? <laughs> Get fucked in. Get his ass. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure, but I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. The steel samurai just escaped from the clutches of the villain. Escaped. So you did see the beginning of the fight. Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Um, well, I guess the steel samurai was moving a little strange. <gasps> moving strangely because it wasn't Will Powers. Because it wasn't Will Powers, it was someone else. So I held up my camera to take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That's all that happened. Yep, I don't believe you. That's all? Yeah, I told you, I didn't take a picture. Hmm, I would have, once I got that lens open. Did he really not take a picture? Not even one? Nah, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's gotta be something here I can use. Cody, listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. <laughs> You took a picture. Hey! Bullseye? How did you know? <laughs> I see through all your lies, Cody Hackins. It's one of my powers. Oh my God. He's talking to him like a superhero. This is so funny. Wow. This feels great. Yeah, yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody? I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. No. No. You erase them? Yeah. Why would you erase a picture of your beloved steel samurai victorious? Well, you know, why would I want to keep a picture like that? Hmm, he's becoming less and less cooperative. I better find a clear contradiction soon or some solid evidence. How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? I feel like he probably, <sighs> my guess is he erased it because Whoever was in that suit took off their helmet and they realized it wasn't Will or something. I don't know. I kind of feel like he realized it wasn't really the Steel Samurai, so he deleted it. Ah! Kid, you're going to jail. There has to be something. Dig up the dirt, Phoenix. Find out what, the, what this kid's all about. Um, could I use a scrapbook? It's gotta be in here, no? So Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. Uh, so I held up my camera to take a picture, but the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. Took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. But you wouldn't, because you have a scrapbook. <gasps> Whenever I pick something and the music stops, I'm like, yes! Yes! Cody. What? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow it with something bad. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Oh, right. What was it you told me then? I go to every live performance. I always take a picture when the Seal Samurai lands the final blow. Wizam! <laughs> I bet Cody killed me. <laughs> He's the big villain behind all of this. I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Cody. Did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Ah! Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackins. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I, I see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. I wonder if he got caught by someone and they threatened him or something and told him to delete them. <coughs> Order. Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? If the Steel Samurai had just defeated his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. <coughs> no, wait. No way. God, my throat! 
<coughs> My throat is killing me, dude. These games where you have to read out every line is tough. Phoenix? I think we finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is. Mia, are we sure about this? Did he actually... Yes. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what is going on here. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photos he took? Photos are blurry. He erased them by mistake. Oh! The Steel Samurai didn't win! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He lost, he lost, he lost. I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. No way, no. It's impossible, the Steel Samurai never loses. He never loses to anyone, ever. Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose because it wasn't Will Powers. He probably would have won if it was actually Will Powers, but it wasn't. Yet to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. <laughs> order, I will have order. Witness, I mean Cody, is this true? What did you see? Tell the court what you saw. I... Order, I'll have a large coffee. <laughs> Cody, that day you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight. Oh, Phoenix is still going. Phoenix is just going in on this kid. Right? Uh, okay, okay, you're right. The Steel Samurai fell down, and then he didn't move. Uh. <laughs> Wait, so the Steel Samurai didn't move? Order, order, order. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. So... What the fuck? So what... Was Jack Hammer in that outfit when he died and then got moved into the Magistrate outfit? I'm so confused. Yet according to your witness's testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. <coughs> Mr. Wright, what's going on? I don't know. <laughs> Apparently we have all made a serious error. An error? What's this all about? Oh, Jesus. Hammer was the victim. Steel Samurai was the victim. There was no victim. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. If you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Back Hammer was the Steel Samurai. <gasps> so he was in that outfit and then they would have moved him. Order, order, order. So the Steel Samurai in this photograph, you're saying the man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was pres was present at the action scene run through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Power's foot injury. But wait, hadn't Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Oldbag said in her testimony? On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. She didn't see him. <gasps> Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him go to, go to Studio One, nor was there a picture of him. <gasps> he waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. But why would the victim do such a thing? Maybe he didn't want to be the villain anymore. Maybe he wanted to be the hero. I don't know. <laughs> 
I get it. I thought that the steel samurai was moving strange. So it was a different person inside the suit. Pops! Huh, me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I said. Oh my god. <sighs> data? Yeah, a photo on my digital cam. I hate this kid! I hate this kid. <laughs> what? Show us, quick. No way, man. Not if you're gonna look at me like that. Now. <laughs> Here, this is it. Oh, it's outside of two. That's Studio Two. Well, looking at this, it's still a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. If he's super muscular, I feel like it's more likely to be Jack Hammer, but like what? What's he doing outside two? Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like it's the proof we need. Wait a minute. It's proof that you can go from the jungle to Studio 2 and 1. Because he took that from the jungle. And they're always saying, like, on oh, the head blocked the pass so we couldn't go to the studio. But he went to Studio 1 and 2 in the fucking jungle. <coughs> so that is helpful. Wait, Phoenix. Mia, what? Look at that photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. What? Your Honor, may I see that photo once more, please? Certainly, I don't see why not. Phoenix, show him. There's a glaring, decisive inconsistency with the facts as we know them in that photo. Hee <laughs> hee Find the inconsistency in the photo. Oh, I have to press something? Um, inconsistency? Is it that he's outside too? Huh? Oh, well, I have to press Y. Take that. I think it's here. I'm gonna be lacking even more confidence. Oh, God damn it! But it's two! Would it be this one? I'm not reading chat because I want to figure it out on my own. I want to look at my court record though, but I can't. Um, I'm gonna try up here. Your honor, look at this. I see a gate. Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? How come the other two didn't work? <laughs> oh, I thought it was a two backwards. Oh, oh well. <laughs> Um, yeah, just so you guys know when I'm trying to figure something out, I'm not going to read chat because I want to figure it out by myself. So like, I understand, <laughs> I understand that you guys are trying to help, but there's kind of like, there's no point of me playing a puzzle game on stream if everyone's just going to tell me the answer in the chat, you know, because then I'm not really playing it. So I'm not, I'm not looking at the chat when you guys tell me the answer. The number? Uh, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly not a one, your honor, correct? Yeah. <laughs> I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. B but that's impossible. Hmm? What's this all about? Please explain so that I might be shocked along with the rest of the court. This guy is not paying attention to anything happening in the court. At all. He's not paying attention. He has like he has like a like a football game on his phone underneath the, <laughs> the stand. He's not paying attention. I'll use the studio guide map. The body was found here in Studio One. However, what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one on that gate in the photo. Your Honor, here is the true scene of the crime. Show the judge where the murder took place. Studio, Studio Two! Studio Two! Here, at Studio Two. I see, that would explain the two on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio Two. The trailer is there. <laughs> As you may recall, there's a trailer in Studio 2. Now, on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of the death. Uh, hmm, during that break, Mr. Salmonella and Ms. D. Vasquez were exciting to the stake. They were at the scene of the crime. 
Yeah, I found it weird that there was like no blood. Like when we saw his body for the first time, I was like, why is there just a hole with like nothing around it? The path to the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Okay, whatever. I still think you can go through the forest, but whatever. Yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio 1. Yet in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime, Studio 2. Order, order! The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that the security guard, Miss Oldbag, saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a steel samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. <laughs> this is madness! Jack Hammer is the victim, the victim! Why would he steal a steel samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? Well, no, of course not. Hmm. Do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim Jack Hammer stole the costume. Um. Could it be the sleeping pills? I haven't used this yet. Maybe it's the sleeping pills. Eee, I'm gonna save. I think it's the sleeping pills. He drugged um, Will Powers and took it while he was asleep. <coughs> I have proof. You do? You do, Mr. Wright? Not that they're so surprised, suddenly I'm much less confident. <laughs> I think I'm right, though. Here's my proof that Jack Hammer stole the costume. Uh, I'm gonna try the sleeping pills. This is it. An empty medicine bottle? I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent that entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Let's go, we're gaming. Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicions, yes. But there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. <gasps> Test Power's blood? Fingerprint the bottle, examine Hammer's body. Oh. Can't. Do all of these. <laughs> Do all three. <laughs> Do everything. Hold on, let me save again. I'm sorry, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I'm gonna say fingerprint the bottle. Fingerprint the bottle. An idea, very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on his <laughs> I suppose you're right. Very well, the court will take possession of the bottle. Empty bottle given to the judge. The bottle. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Cody Hacken's testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The steel samurai seen by Miss Oldbag may have been the victim Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio One, but Studio Two, and those in the trailer did have time to commit murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the steel samurai costume? Also, who killed him and why? I'm pretty sure, I don't remember because it's been, it was like a few streams ago, but I'm pretty sure um, Miss Oldbag said something about how we used to get like amazing hero parts and now he's stuck as the villain. So it kind of sounded like he just wanted to be a hero, but I don't know. Find the answers for me by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, mm -hmm. you will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor, this trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. <laughs> Exonerate the kid for being goofy with a camera. <laughs> Uh, child, I exonerate you as goofball. <laughs> Trial over. Court is adjourned.
Uh. Phew! That was a close one. We were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during that trial. Going home? You mean to heaven? <laughs> you mean back to the afterlife? What do you mean going home? Me too. Really? You both seem so confident. <laughs> Maybe I should take up a career in acting. I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too. Dead? <laughs> of course we're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. No, Mr. Powers, we have to go make our final investigation. But I promise you we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. Right, thanks. Oh, man. <sighs> this is so scary. Okay, without spoiling anything, this is for this is for all of the Phoenix Wright players. Are there any Phoenix Wright cases where the correct answer is guilty? Or is the goal to always have the correct answer be not guilty? There are? <gasps> oh my God. Okay, I hate to say it. I'm gonna end here because my throat is just like, my throat is not handling <laughs> today well. I'm really sorry. Um, it's just like, I'm at the point where I'm like coughing a lot. So I think I'm gonna stop here. Um, I've been uploading these gameplays to my gaming channel if you wanna watch the others. I need to upload the other one yesterday, no, the last stream today and then today's tomorrow. I don't know, whatever. Um, I've been uploading them to the gaming channel if you want to watch. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. It was fun. I'm loving this game. I just wish my throat was stronger to like read all these words out loud for ages. But yeah, thanks for hanging out guys.